Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our old craft. In the last episode, we raided the raided. We explored the cave that is under our house, and it was actually quite successful. We managed to upgrade our gear, our weaponry, our armor, and we have a bunch of resources that we didn't have before. However, today I think it is time for some exploration because we are currently living in this winterland here, and there are actually seasons uh, in our old craft and I have been told that essentially if I stay here and it turns winter things could get quite tough um, and you can actually make a seasons clock however I don't have any nether quartz nor do I have any quartz chop so yeah I, I can't make a seasons clock so I have no idea what season it is but yeah I want to explore maybe find some bigger and cooler place to live and well just explore and see what we find I also really want to make this antique atlas right here, but in order to do that I need a bone quill, which means I need a feather and I need some ink sack, so those are on the to-do list as well. Now I'm gonna bring a few things with me, I'm going to bring my wool armor just... actually, no I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do that. All I think I'm really going to bring is my extra spare bed, just in case we need to sleep somewhere. Um, maybe permanent torches is a good idea? Nah, I'm gonna leave those. I heard footsteps. I, I heard footsteps. Who's here? I'm sure I heard footsteps. Maybe they were my own. What's that? I think we've already been there. Um, I'm thinking in what direction we should travel in. We could either travel east or we could travel south. That way is just danger because that is where we escaped from at the beginning of... Oh, that's a witch. That's bad. That's actually two. Oh dear. But yeah, that right there, this general direction is in the direction of that dragon that we uh, came across <laughs> pretty early on. So I want to go in a direction that is not that. I also want to go in a direction that is not the witches. Um, so maybe we go this way. Ideally, I would like to get out of this icy area. But it, I think it continues with ice and snow in that direction. But I haven't explored much in that direction either. Um, I just don't want to get lost. That's fire. That's because it's a lava field. It, it's a lava pit. Don't worry. It's not a dragon. Yeah, I could usually fall down there. Fill this up real quick so we have nice clean water on us. And let's begin the trip. I think we're just gonna head in this direction to begin with. Now mind, we're going home. I need to get my shears. Because getting wool is definitely a priority so I can make some more bandages. Turns out I didn't have any shears, so I made some, and I need gathering too. So we should be able to get that right off the bat. There we go. I also have 10 more levels, which I think I'm going to put into... Uh, farming is definitely going to be something that we want to invest in. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to spend them, because just in case I die, then it's it's going to be nice just to having had the skills uh, skill points not have been wasted. Now, let us go towards east, and let's see what we find. We actually have quite a few sheep up here on this hill. The house is just over there. So, getting more bandages shouldn't be an issue. I'm also going to go ahead and chop down a tree or two, just so I have wood, in case I need to make a campfire or something like that. Ooh, regeneration. That would be nice to have that as a permanent thing. Oh, would you look at that, a hippogriff. From Ice and Fire, who can also be hostile, I should note. <laughs> I should note that they can be hostile. They can be hostile, so I should be a little bit careful. Now, yes, yeah, squid. I can actually get my ink sack from this place. And there we go. I got two of them. Gotta be careful from above. Alright, that's the ink sack. Now I just need feathers. Hmm, I wonder if... I mean, I would assume... I mean, I need, I need, honestly, I need the food anyway. Yep, they do drop feathers. Which means I can go ahead and make the map right away. So, oh, I, I don't trust it. I don't trust this hippogriff. If I go ahead and make this right here, hook and quill together with the compass, if an, it is an empty, empty antique atlas, and if I right-click this, we have a map. And if I right-click this again, this is the surrounding area. Oh boy. So, what I could ideally do 
is I could go back and I could leave a waypoint. Add marker, delete marker, hide markers, export image. Okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. All right, with that done, let us continue east. This will definitely help us explore the world and keep track of where things are. Things might pop up as icons as well. I'm not 100% sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. Things are just getting colder and colder. Would you look at this? Doesn't seem like we have much warmth uh, moving forward here. However, we're just gonna keep going. I do see eh, something over there, which I don't know if that's a bad thing that I see or a good thing. Ow, I should be careful with that. But we are most definitely gonna explore it and find out. Food is also something that I will be gathering on this journey. Okay, yeah, that, okay, that's another hippogriff. This is definitely a type of structure here. Whether it is a really dangerous one or if it's a friendly one remains to be seen. Um, you scare me. Uh, if we can find an entrance, that would be ideal. Actually, you know what? Let's make our own entrance. We definitely need a place to stay. I put my shield here, actually. Can't be. Oh, I think I know what this is. Yep, it's one of those dungeons. They're gonna lead straight underground, and then there's gonna be a ginormous tunnel system underground. So that is not something that I'm interested in at the moment. However, eh, this top part will make a very, very lovely shelter for us for the night. Okay, this is a problem. I cannot sleep unless I don't have hyperthermia, which uh, I currently do have, which is a bit of a situation because it is going to my head. Okay. This should work. If not, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna go ahead and make some of those. Apply this to my head. <laughs> Just in case. There we go. Hypothermia is gone. Now I can sleep. It appears that there are some flowers over here, so maybe if I just continue, we will actually pass this winter area. I'm gonna leave the campfire behind. Oh, there's a spider up there. That's a wolf. That's a friendly one, though, I I hope anyway. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and fill my water container up real quick here. Some nice and fresh water. Put that together, there we go, very lovely, and we move forward. Now again, I don't know exactly what I'm hoping to accomplish other than... Whoa. Okay, hear more wings, but I'm assuming it's a hippogriff. I have no idea what on earth that monstrosity is. Yep, just making sure. Okay, yeah, this is definitely out of the winter area. What on earth is that? I am very curious. Oh, it's so green. It's so green and nice. Whoa, okay. Buddy. Okay, that's another one. Yeah, yes, yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't, don't make. Go away. I don't want to fight you. I really, really don't want to fight you. I really don't want to fight you. Please go away. Okay. Hippogriffs are dangerous, man. I don't know what that is. But it doesn't look like there's anything useful up there. But yeah, this is definitely out of the snowy area. Which is definitely somewhere I want to be. Wait, is this a village? Okay, if this is a village, I want to be careful, because with ice and fire... Okay, this is not a village. It is a singular... ...village house. Okay, it's all hippogriffs. They're all hippogriffs. We're fine. Everything's fine. What's that? It's some sort of camp? With villagers. Oh, it is a village camp thing. Okay. Question is, I'm assuming it's... Yep, I think it's safe. 
Hey guys, why are you in the blocks? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna question it. You have a good amount of gold, actually. Do you guys have any good trades? Actually, not too bad of trades, actually. Oh. Yeah, this, um... This is some good stuff here, guys. Don't mind if I do. This is definitely useful. However, this is not exactly what I am looking for when it comes to a base. So I think I'm gonna keep moving. I can go ahead and give this a icon. So maybe if I go ahead and do this one. So there we go, there we go, we got camp. Looks like we got some other biome over here as well. Really, I guess what I'm looking for is a building that I can call base that is not in an extremely cold biome. Yep, this is a different kind of biome, still not cold, so I'm happy. Oh, wow, that's a lot of bones. Um, oh wow, my inventory is full. <laughs> my inventory is really full. Uh, I think I'm good though. Bones, yeah, that would be very, very useful. I mean, I could live in a cage like this. That would be kind of cool. Some sort of old cobblestone ruin over here. Let's check it out real quick. Man, it's stuck in there. I'm, I'm not going in there. That's for sure. Hmm. Yep, just ruin. Nothing else in there. That's creepy. Nope. <laughs> nope. I think I might start circling back around this way just to see what we can find. Definitely not in this direction because, uh, well, dragon over here somewhere. Um, but maybe in this direction just to see what we can find. Because I don't want to go too far away from home. Considering if I do find something, I do need to carry it all the way from home to the new place. Um, and so far I haven't really found anything that is suiting. So maybe if we go back around this way we'll find something, and if not, then we can always go in the next direction, which I guess would be west. Definitely nice being in one of these warmer environments, though, where we don't have to worry about the cold. Very, very nice. Um, found this. I don't... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, these are pressure plates, huh? Okay. Good to know. What's in this? Iron axe? Oh, actually, I can't take that, because that's gathering eight. <laughs> I can take the bread, though, I guess. Oh, no, it's not. It's nighttime. I really, really do like this biome, though. Like, I really like this place right here. Hmm. I mean, I... I mean, I could always build my own, uh, my own base. I don't have to find an already pre-made structure. It would just make things easier and also potentially have treasure. Def oh, lag spike. <laughs> Definitely not on top of one of these, though. But yeah, I could make my own base as well. It would, however, take more resources and effort. Found another one of these, which uh, we'll just go ahead and do that. Casually open, grab the bread, and leave again, if I, if I can. What on earth? <laughs> okay, now this cemetery, I don't know if it will have things here. I don't know if it's an Iceland fire cemetery or what. Well, that is locked, apparently. And I don't have a key. Oh. Lovely. <laughs> I will welcome it, because I do want that, but uh, let's see how many we get. Oh, actually quite a few. I will welcome it. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? That's a big building. It is still in the winter area, or the snow area, which I'm not super happy about. Mm. However... It is something interesting. And look at this mountain area. Wow. Uh, open door. I mean... But... Okay, what is this place? 
Why is the door open and what is this place? I mean, sure. Definitely. But why is my question? Well, guys, I guess we are about to get our very first diamond. Boom. Our very first diamond right there. And no, we're definitely not going to use it towards making a jukebox. Because that, no, that, that's, oh, wow. Wow. Anyway, very cool discovery. However, not a place for us to stay. And that thing is probably something that should be avoided. By the way, I'm on my way back home to offload some of the stuff that <laughs> I'm currently carrying. Maybe I'm going to grab the backpack before I head uh, west to explore that part of the area. Uh, I... I'm scared. I'm assuming it's something that is underground. However, I don't want to take chances. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go in this direction now. Oh, yeah, that that's probably that's probably it. Oh, and another one. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's from like a night smarts. I think I know what it is. And I don't need to deal with it. Whoa. Hello. No idea if they're friendly or not. The wings kind of doesn't don't look friendly. Um, I'm scared. Pretty sure they're not friendly. I don't think they're friendly. Definitely not friendly. All right. We have made it back home. Now I'm just going to have to offload some things and then we are continuing the journey. So now with home marked, inventory clean. I'm not going to take the backpack because I refuse to go without my chest plate. We now go in west. In the, in, in west? No, we go in the west direction. What we will find, only time will tell. What I do know is I have not been in this direction at all. Oh dear, we got to be careful of that. Those are sirens. Is that a floating castle? <laughs> I mean, a floating castle seems safe to me. That, however, isn't. How do we make earplugs again? I know you can make earplugs. Two buttons. Um, You know what? It might be worth it, because I don't know what the range is. So if I just go ahead and do this. Some earplugs. There we go. And I shouldn't be dragged in, just in case I get a little too close. That sky castle, though, is kind of tempting. Would be ideal with a flying mount, but I mean, that could be the next objective. At least there's a waterfall getting up and down. There's also this tower that we would need to defeat. Um, at some point, at least. There's also something over there. I mean, this right here seems like kind of a... Oh, no. Okay, I'll take the meat. <laughs> Heal me up, please. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, this place actually looks kinda nice for a base. Could chop down the trees, build a little bit of a hut, or I could move right into the castle. Hmm, I've been presented with options. First though, I want to, I want to know what this thing is. If it's good or bad. Well, I mean... That's a that's a free compass. That would have been nice a couple episodes ago. <laughs> and there's nothing in here other than that. Okay. Good to know. Hold on. I have spotted something. Don't know exactly what it is. Oh, that's a castle on the water. Uh, why are they all on the water? I would like something that is actually on land. That would be mostly ideal so i don't have to get a flying mount or a boat in order to travel back and forth also so sea serpents don't think they can just come in and take me on guys i may have found something there's a camp over here and i see villagers and our home is right over here so it's actually not too far away from our current home i think it's friendly since i see villagers but just to be safe we will be on guard. There is another building over there, which we will check out afterwards. 
Hey, fellas, how's it going? What am I hearing? You know what? I shall not ask questions. Very nice tents. Oh, I just got turned around. Sleeping mats. Oh. Yes, please. Yes, please. What's this? Healing? Yep. Definitely needed. Oh, wow. Armor? Arrows? I'll take it all. I don't know if I can use this front flesh for anything, though. Oh, and a ton of gold. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Now, that house over there, that could either be something that I know what is, or it could be something else. Okay, that I know what is. It is going to have a staircase. Le Hello. <laughs> it's going to have a staircase leading down to a bunch of those dungeons. However, it is a pretty nice house. I'm not going to lie. It is very spacious. And I mean, there's probably a bunch of loot down there if we go ahead and clear it. There's also this house. Oh, wow. Which has a bunch of useful stuff. Guys, we, we may just have found where we where we can stay. It's in one of the... Oh, there's even more stuff in here. Okay, two of these right next to each other. Not bad. We can combine these ourselves somehow. We have cows right next door so we can farm them. We have berries over there. We have the ocean as well. And we are in a very nice... Br It's coming for me. It's coming. It's coming this way. It's coming this way. It's coming this way. Take cover. Take cover. Who <laughs> damn me? It definitely was coming this way. Um. Okay, so that lives very close by. That's a. Pro I just saw a tree getting chopped down. <laughs> that was awesome. Mm. Well, this is a complication. I'm gonna add a marker here. And I'm going to call this a potential home. Uh, po potential home. However, there's a dragon in this area, so I'm going to go ahead and add a marker over here. I'm going to add a dragon head. Do we have a... Yes, we do have a blue one. Uh, d uh, dragon here somewhere. <laughs> because that... Uh, I don't know if it would become a problem. It probably it got quite close, not gonna lie. It could potentially get over here and first of all attack that villager camp, but also if we have wildlife here, like pigs and cows, it might attack that as well. I kinda want to go closer. I don't have anything on me to take on to take on a dragon. However, I don't want to attract its attention either and be the cause of it coming over here. Yeah, it's definitely there. Guys, tell... I think it's coming for me again. It's definitely coming this way. Okay, it looks like it might not leave that area if we stay to our business and that stays to ours. <laughs> Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Am I able, with everything that I currently have, to take on a dragon? Because I would love to take on a dragon. Especially that one, <laughs> because I really, really want this place to to call it home. Because I absolutely love this location. Okay, the dragon is coming towards me again. It looks like when I get to a certain point, it comes towards me. Like if I step a little bit closer, yep, it definitely comes towards me. But then when I step back here... It goes back to its own business. So we could set up a little bit of a perimeter. I think we would be alright. You know what? I think we would be alright. Yep. We're gonna call this a future home. I am gonna head back. Get inventory sorted. Maybe move some stuff over. And then... Hello. That's a problem. Don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Why are you so strong? Okay. Okay, before anything else happens, we're gonna place a little torch right there, and we're just gonna block that up. Place a torch here, a torch here. Now, these are lit torches, so they're not... Oh, wow. Okay. 
Yep, we're staying here. I mean, that's even cake for us. It's, having cake in our situation is definitely a luxury. Actually, guys, oh, wait. Oh, that's a, that's a basement to this place? Oh my. Okay, guys. Hello? <laughs> Potential cave nearby. We're going to call this an episode. I am very happy with this find right here, and I think this is a good place to end the episode. Um, I'm gonna do some thinking and also some research on whether or not I'll be able to take out a dragon. Please do let me know down below in the comments if you have any tips or tricks for me taking down a dragon and if I'm able, even capable and what my chances are if I were to try and take on a dragon. In the next episode, we're probably gonna set up a little bit of a perimeter, maybe move some stuff over because, and probably secure the camp if we can, because, yeah, this place, I'm loving it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye. <laughs>